Uh, I'm from South Africa and I'm in my last year of high school so I go to university next year and I still don't really know what I want to do with my life um, which is quite common amongst a lot of people my age. Um, when I grew up in South Africa, having grown up in South Africa, I've been surrounded by um, inequality and pollution and poverty and it's, it's really it's a part of our lives in South Africa. When I drive to school every day, um, you know, on the right side of the road, there's people living in tin shacks and they don't have refuse removal, so the entire, there's just a mountain of, of litter um, on the side of the road and, and people are walking in a sewage leakage on the, on the roads. And, and on the left side, you have these, these very grand two-story houses with gardens and dogs and, you know, the, the, the poverty gap in my country is extremely large and it's normal for us. So when I come to places like here, like England, like New Zealand and Australia, places I've been, it's, it's quite a, a culture shock for me to see people who, they don't have these problems and they don't think twice about it. And seeing this, it, it's, it's a little bit for me about how people don't think twice about the privilege that they have and how they are able to strive for sustainability because they have that privilege, they have those resources. But for those who live in those tin shacks, for those who who don't have access to education, they don't have access to water, or to even have a sanitary safe environment, how are we going supposed to expect them to strive for a sustainable world, to strive to stop littering, to save water? How are we expected to expect them to be held up to the same standards as us? It, it, and so for me, I feel like we have to fix that problem before we can do anything for sustainability. So um, my essay touches a little bit on that. It talked about the, how we're, we're either going to go in two very different directions depending on whether our governments and our leaders choose to listen to the public and to listen to the majority of us who are trying to tell them to do something or if they don't, you know, everything goes up in smoke. So.